couple of options we have to us. Number one, suicide. We don't want to go with number one, though, because, uh, of course, that means death. Gotcha! Here again today with some more super cool, fun stuff in the game. Dark and Light, and welcome back to Arcos. Meet Gotcha. If you find yourself here to watch the videos in Arcos and the game Dark of Light or Heroes of the Storm, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You might find something you like. Some more super cool, fun stuff every single day just for you. So here we are again in Arcos. We're learning stuff as we go. Seems to be how this game kind of works. The thing is, I didn't know that at first, and so I was really super duper confused. Look at that, we got whistle buttons. Oh, we got stuff like that, we can do this. Oh, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I'm so sorry that I punched the lady in the street. Don't punch me, don't kill me. But look at this, we got a super cool castle here. Man, there's all sorts of super cool fun stuff going on. If you press the end button, end, right below home, end, that's gonna take you into like a selfie cam view. And be like, hey, look how awesome I look with my wolf uh, hair cut style thing. Anyway, I have fixed some of the lag, but we still have some uh, texture issues going on. Um, I do have the settings set to high, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But we uh, can avoid that. I mean, look past that and just kind of move on. So one of the main things that I learned that I will impart to your knowledge now that I was misunderstanding was that once you level or once you get something new skill-wise, you don't have to go learn it. It automatically learns. So, for example, survival. As an adventurer, you must learn to survive on your own, even in the high, uh, harshest environments. Mastering the skill will teach you how to craft the basic necessities of life. To increase this skill. Do you see that? To increase this skill. Gather wood. Gather hay. Craft survival knowledge materials. That's what you do to increase the skill. You don't have to go in here and learn anything. It's just that awesome. And then when you do that, guess what happens? Shows up in your schematics here. Your schematics are going to show the stuff that you learned. It's going to be separated out by different categories. That you can select all items. You can do weapons. You can do armor or equipables, it says. Consumables. Resources. And structures. That's super cool. I think we need to make some foundations. One. That's all I can make. <laughs> that's okay so we're, we're, we're on to stuff here right so this is automatically gonna show up here that's awesome um, we also as a result of that goofing around a little bit last time after the last uh, video recording we learned how uh, as a result of that we learned how to make the sword we can make the pickaxe um, remember last time we ended up with just the axe and the sorcerer staff and now we can make these other things so lots of super cool fun stuff going on now ooh Looks like we just learned this shabby wall. See, it automatically popped up there. That's amazing. It tells us we need, uh, what's that again? Straw. We need straw, twine, and wood. Cool. Does that make sense now to everybody? You don't have to go somewhere and learn anything. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now then, one thing I don't know is how do you sleep? <laughs> how do you sleep? I don't know. It's just, it's so confusing. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, um, apparently my guy's tired. Sleep or take a focus potion. Uh, what about these flowers? <laughs> Field blossoms with a relaxing aroma can be eaten or used in recipes to restore focus after casting spells. Use item. <laughs> Did that do the trick? Am I super awake now? No, no I'm not, not at all. So, yeah, let me find, uh, let me find an inn, oh wait, there's a lady right here, what do you make, or sell rather, what is this, oh, focusing elixir, stronger when bottled, but can be imbibed to restore some focus after casting spells, it's for gold, I happen to have quite a bit of gold for whatever reason, I've been selling stuff that I've been harvesting, so we're going to buy a couple of those, Cooked mushroom, cooked meat. Okay, let's jump out of here, escape into our inventory, take a focus elixir, use. Apparently I'm still sleepy. All right, so our focus is currently at 41. 
Let's go ahead and hit that again. Oh, that's much better than flowers, and it gives hunger. So those are actually really good. Oh, I didn't even realize I could up my combat stats here. Let's go with health, attack. Uh, uh, what's constitution do? There's no little helpful tent on tip, unfortunately. So we're gonna go with uh, one in each this time. For now, doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's okay. So we've got some money. We've got the Z's. Oh yeah. By the way, don't hit barrels with with weapons. Just punch them. So much more efficient. I don't know why she wouldn't punch me in the face for punching her barrels, but thankfully she doesn't care. Nobody in the town actually cares if you punch barrels. So that's a good thing, because they have stuff in them, and it's super cool. Out we go. Do. Where's the inn? I'm I'm not familiar with the city at all yet, so we're gonna keep kind of looking around. I think all of these are I'm like 100% sure these are all empty, or unaccessible otherwise. So let's go in here. Oh, there's a lot of rooms. I mean, it could be an inn, I suppose. Can I sleep in this bed? See, that's weird. I don't know. Is there a sleep button? Z? No? Hey, hopefully nobody... Hey, <laughs> nobody's in there doing anything crazy. All right, what is this? This one has a icon on the building. I feel like I'm just going to like pass out eventually if I don't do something about this sleeping problem. Yeah, see, there's beds. Punch the bed. It's not doing the trick. And black. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. Still have the coughs. Not sure what's up with that. But I will try and mute it to avoid your ears being blown out of proportion here. Alright, so there's more of the city up there. Maybe we need to head up there. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, so there... Alright, we can't go that way. Hey, by the way, check this out. We need to collect sulfur. We're at 82 of 100 in the bottom left there. So using your pick does something different than using your axe, which does something different than using your sword which can also be used for harvesting. Um, let's take a look at that real fast, actually, see if it tells us. A flimsy pick made from stone, primarily used to mine boulders for valuable minerals. A weak axe fashioned from stone, primarily used to harvesting wood and other resources from trees. A crude melee weapon made from stone, although the blade is dull, use it to attack enemies uh, uh, up close and harvest some resources. A crude sorcerer's staff. Equip this equip <laughs> this magical staff to cast your equipped combat spell. Okay. So yeah. Use the pick on the um ore or stone, whatever rocks, to gather sulfur, just FYI. And then use the uh, axe to gather stone. Quite efficient. Let me find the stinking inn where I can sleep and I will be right back. G -g gotcha answers here. Back again. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, so check it out. Um, you gotta make a bedroll. Duh. I mean, who'd have thunk? Make a bedroll to sleep. Well, how do you make a bedroll? Well, we need to craft up some bedrolls. Well, how do we craft up some bedrolls? Well, you gotta rank up your survival skill. Well, how do you rank up your survival skill? Well, I'm glad you asked. Press I check out your skills go to the adventuring survival tab and you look over here a uh, bed roll oh actually a bed bed roll is my next level so we need to gather wood gather hay and craft survival knowledge materials one of the survival knowledge materials we know to be a you guessed it campfire bam we made a campfire uh, of course we're gonna put some wood in it. Can I, how do you? Shift click transfers five at a time. We're going to light the fire and then we can make straw out of uh, grass, that's right. So we put all the, wait, um, I don't know how to 
transfer like all of it. I just drag it, that's fine. And then we could do that, and then we can craft all. And that's gonna make um, our survival skill go up. And hopefully before we die, we'll gain level three. We need to go gather some more wood. Okay, so on we go. I'm gonna go cut down some trees, try to get that up to level three before I die. So we can take a rest with the bedroll. And I'll be right back. Gotcha, back again, and I have some good news. We know how to, whoa. What the crap? Check that out, man. Huh, it's like a big buzzard. Anyway, we know how to uh, to get the bedroll, which is the good news. The bad news is, um, if you go to skills, and you click on survival, and then you look at the prerequisites for the rank three, which includes bedroll, and resurrection altar no clue what that is <laughs> you have to be level 10 so when it says here player level 6 of 10 um, of course we're not there we have to be level 10 currently level 6 prerequisite so we cannot get the bedroll so a couple of options we have to us number one suicide we don't want to go with number one though because uh, of course that means death but you can do that just as an FYI you can go you can go into the escape system menus and trigger death um, yeah, I mean we could it would be rather easy to get to where we are as far as gathering our stuff But that's the easy way out right what we're gonna do is just kind of hang out and uh, see how it goes now um, Until then we need to make some elixirs what I found is that I made this little foundation Not much to it. I made some storage boxes because we had too much super cool fun stuff And then I made this mortar and pestle but the mortar and pestle allows us to create elixirs so the focusing elixir this gives us a good amount of food it gives us a lot of uh, focus compared to just the flowers um, and it so it's really good all the way around so we definitely want to have um, as much of that stuff as we can now in order to make the uh, focusing elixir in the mortar and pestle we do have uh, to have grass no problem magic shards no problem but then field flowers is what we need next so in order to get filled flowers I noticed that if you use the sword you get them quite often from the mushes so we're gonna hack and hack and hack and hack and hack in the mushes <laughs> and we're gonna get all the super cool fun filled flowers that we can as you can see we're getting some rather quickly so we'll have to come back over here Come back over here. And sheath your sword, sir. Drop back in the mortar and pestle. And put the flowers in. Voila. We can make seven more. So while that's making up, let's go find some more flower. Oh. So we're actually not short on field flowers. This time we're short on grass, which we happen to have a ginormous amount of. So there you go. 14 more of those bad suckers there. We're going to go ahead and eat the two that we have. That would be option number 10, which also I really like that the options on the toolbar go all the way through uh, the equal sign or 12. So that's really cool. Um, anyway, so we're going to eat that. Cool. Eat it again. And we're out of the red. Look at that over here on the bottom right. Cool. We're out of the red. All right, let's go make some more. I'm going to get like... I'm gonna get like a ton <laughs> because it seems to be really important so I'm gonna get like a ton and then uh, and then I'll be right back gotcha and we're back and we got not a billion a gazillion a ton but we got a few check it out uh, 16 we're sitting on 16 I've actually already eaten quite a few um, as I was moving about the world here now if you take a look over there at the bottom right guess what is no longer there that's right the sleepy doopy icon so that's gone so the focus elixirs actually work to eliminate the need to sleep super cool fun stuff okay so that's good 
um, that allows us to continue on with our adventures into the world of Arcos and that we shall now then another thing I wanted to show you was that uh, we got some fireball stuff so over here in our schematics you'll see this stuff just pops up right so we got a fireball one um, we got a door let's not do all though let's look at um, consumables we get a warmth rune we could cast that to keep ourselves warm similar to how we do the light one to give us light at night or just all the time um, and then we got fireball and then we got was that it yeah and then and then we got some building stuff so we might uh, actually make some of that building stuff here momentarily but at the moment check this out uh, click alt that takes you between your two belts there at the bottom if you don't see it um, down there uh, that way see yeah so as soon as you press alt it goes between one and two so on the second one you can see I have fireball listed there click number one that replaces it with the draining spell and then we're gonna open up our first tool belt and we're gonna open the um, what's it called conquerors uh, sorcerer staff so also I need to change the sound because this thing's really loud uh, I want to turn that up turn that down Apply, save, and here we go. So let's see if. Ooh, okay, there's a boar over here. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Okay, let's go see how this works against this guy. You see the big ring around the middle of the of the screen there. Clearly, that's how we use uh, to indicate our target. Now you. Oh, holy crap! That dude's fast. We can actually hold it down. He's only level 12, and he is dead. Check that out, man. That is so stinking cool. We have magic. We have all the magic. Oh yeah, screenshot. Can I, wait. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, when you mouse will too, by the way, learn this unfortunately way. When you mouse will, it goes through your, uh, <laughs> your um, hot bar there, so yeah. But anyway, so we did get this guy dead rather easily. And uh, let's go ahead and try to get some, uh, yeah, I had the axe out. Let's get some hide off this guy. Um, of course, we're getting all meat. That's not cool because we want hide. Cool. We got some hide. So, yeah, all you do is just bust out your staff and then go ham on whatever you see, man. Now I feel like a level 7 invincible dude. Um, I actually did level up, so let's take a look at our inventory. Um, again, up here, you can level up your combat stats, health, attack, mana, and constitution. Down here, you level up your survival stats. Uh, we have a pretty regular issue with focus and weight. So since we do have some storage now, we're going to go ahead and take a point into focus, a point into stamina. Okay, and then we'll probably continue to see that go up a little bit. Here we're going to go with, I wonder if attack actually increases your magic damage. I don't know, but we're going to go up to 115 with it. And then we're going to go, I think I was doing like, what, what is that? I think he's doing like 30 damage or something like that with this fire um, ability. So let's try to find something else to hit. Ooh, I don't want to hit the sheep. What would be the point of that? He has nothing to offer me. These are weird looking trees. Huh. Strange indeed. All right, let's take a look at. Hey, whoa, what, what, what? And we're back. Okay, good. Yeah, still do it. It's thirty, and then it looks like it ticks for twelve. Dude takes off fast when he's on fire. Level fifty-six, quite a bit higher. It appears I am now shirtless. He should be even more afraid of the way I see it. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, anything around, we're gonna die. Man, okay, look how buff I am. Not buff at all, but that was still pretty epic! Oh man, that's too cool. All right, so if we use the sword, a bone, a pick, hide, and meat, Hide. Okay, yeah, this, I think the axe definitely gets more hide. Let's go ahead and kill, or uh, harvest this boar. And uh, let's take a look at our shirt action here. Why did I lose my shirt? Can I repair it? Uh, I don't even know 
cloth it is. Simple shirt stitch from worn cloth. I, I think maybe... Yeah. That's a shirt icon. Um... Armor crafting. Oh, we can make some leather stuff pretty pretty soon. Oh, that's just the rank one, so we can't even make that stuff. So, in order to increase the skill level of armor crafting, uh, we need to gather uh, rattan, rattan, I don't know, crafting clothing or armor, uh, and then this third one here, unavailable, that's actually the key to success, but we don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, uh, armor crafting, traditional armor offers protection against physical danger. Master the art of crafting this uh, garb and you can stand your ground against the mightiest warriors. So that's cool, of course, we want to do that. We, don't, we want to do a lot of that. Um, so we're going to need to gather, hmm, yeah, Raton. <laughs> uh, so this falls under the same category as that, but we can't make any armor right now, so... Oh wait, I'm under the wrong thing. <laughs> so let's see. This is actually rank level one. And I don't know to my knowledge that I've gathered any of that R A W T A N, but uh maybe I must have. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite of our savory cooked meat. Wait, actually we're gonna take another bite of our spicy meat and get back up here. So um that would be the fire spell. Now you notice as we were fighting there, this little Icon uh, right here, mana was going down. Don't forget about mana, uh, which I did. So it was dangerously low. Fortunately, we were able to kill him dead. Uh, we do need some stone, which doesn't matter because I can't harvest that big gigantic rock here. So we're out quite far at this point. Um, I've not been out this far. There's something coming down the path here. I did kill a hyena at one point. <laughs> Just by sheer necessity. Look at this, man. Oh, that's beautiful. It's pretty stinking amazing. I, I tell you what, man. I wish I could fix these graphics. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully next video we'll have them fixed. But yeah, check this out. It's so beautiful. Can't really see underwater. Can you see? Ooh. Do I have a swim? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah, the lungs there popped up, so that's uh, cool. Okay. Glad that's not up all the time. I am really getting far away from my base. <laughs> my my one foundation base is in quite a distance away. So let's see. What is this, though? I gotta see this. Is he gonna kill me? Please don't kill me. Wild Longhorn, level 16. He appears to be docile. Interesting. Let's kill it. Okay, that definitely does less damage than the fire for what that's worth. Man, the textures are all jacked up. What's going on? Anyway, he's stuck in a tree, so this should go rather quickly and easily. Wild Longhorn, you are mine! You shall die! Quack! Oh wait, I think I can do like a right-click attack too. Oh, 57, that's cool. Oh, I sense another presence from Gaia. I am Ulfric, uh, uh, to Arcos, or this, uh, so much more. Oh gosh, every warrior should know how to craft and repair their own weapons. Keep practicing your mana skill, keep, uh, expand your arsenal. There are more dangers in the wild of Arcos than you know. As you begin to venture out, you will need a proper sword for hunting and protection. Seriously? I already have a sword. Okay, we don't want meat. Okay, so this, this, our helper lady, um, <clears throat> you know, God bless her, but she is regularly behind the curve. But that's okay. We'll make another one. I don't care. Just to appease her and to get our little tutorial quest done which is important I don't know actually if it's important alright cool so we got all his stuff um, how much further do we want to go there's a lot of water here that's pretty stinking cool what is that 
All right, we're gonna start making our way back because I'm a little scared. So let's bust out this thing again. Surely it's not like indefinite usage on the fireball. Maybe it is. What's that? <gasps> Something's chasing something over there. I don't want to die, but I want to see all the super cool fun stuff, man. Are you aggressive? Wild grunt? No, you're not good for you. <laughs> all right. This Elefante thing wasn't aggressive. He has weird textures, though. Um. Okay. Let's keep looking around a little bit, anyway. Man, I just want to go check everything out. I'm really far, far from home now. Alright, let's put... Um, the draining spell back on and sh get some of this stuff on our way back utilizing our magic abilities gotcha back again thanks for hanging out hey so um yeah we don't we still don't have a shirt i don't really know a way to get around that at the moment though so we did make it back to the base it's an amazing base that we have here. Um, of course, we're running out of focus again, so we're going to eat some flowers and all that good stuff, and then we're going to pick some stuff out of our box. Now, let me show you something real fast, just so you know. E is typically your go into stuff thing. However, in some cases, E uh, does not go immediately in, and you'll have to do a search, in which case, just click R. R goes straight in, okay? There you go. Cool. So we need uh, twine. Wait. Uh, twine. We need some straw. And we need some hide, I think. We need some wood. And then we need... Wait. Can we... Can we craft stuff right here? Seems not. Okay. And then you go back into schematics. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Um, so foundations require finding them first. Okay, there we go. Craft three. Um, I guess we can't craft anything else. <laughs> straw, twine, wood. Uh, we need more straw? I thought we had a bunch of straw. Okay. Fine. I'm assuming it's just going to attach. Good. 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 The foundations are pretty big, actually. Cool. I was a little worried, but it was just a rabbit in the way. All right, foundations are gone. Oh, mm, okay. Already comes with a window in it. That's what I'm talking about. Dope. All right, now where is the? Let's grab that and that, and we'll make the door right uh, here, no, here, no, here, right there, number six, oh, put the door on, shabby door, okay, uh, okay, enable teleport. Why, yes. Yes, I would like to enable teleport. I mean, if you can teleport, teleport. That's the way I always look at it. Wait. Unlock, set pin, enable teleport, search. Search. Maybe not the word you're looking for, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, it appears we need some more stuff. I don't remember what, but I believe it was twine which we can get plenty of by hitting the trees with the sword. Ah, look at that. We can make some leather stuff now. Gotta clear, uh, not clear, uh, repair that. Then we're gonna use it on this guy so that we can get some hide. 28 a hit isn't bad. 
Not a stitch of hide. Okay. Well, whatever. Alright, so we're gathering some shards. Hmm. This doesn't seem to do very well with twine. I'm going to stick with the sword. Let's get the twine. And then we shall make a couple more of the walls and actually try to make a little something. And then we will be right back. Gotcha, and we're back. So, put the finishing touches on the starter base. Which really isn't a starter base, but it's a thing. Uh, can't really see right there. Okay, cool, got it. So check it out, man. We got walls, ceiling, foundation, mortar and pestle, some storage. We are in business. Actually, we're gonna transfer this stuff back in. Just transfer it all, actually. <laughs> Which uh, didn't work out. <laughs> That's all right, though. So yeah, we can't make the armor. I don't. Th so it looks like next time we're gonna be able to get into some leather armor. Today, we try to stay alive. <laughs> we uh, are at the beginning stages of a survival game, which if you've played a survival game before, you know is quite difficult. So we have to do the, what we got to do, and here we are. And uh, we have to, in this game, keep our focus up. How do we keep focus? Well, we eat these leaves, um, or these focusing elixir that we make with leaves. And that's just kind of what you do. It's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. So after that, we found out that we needed to... Uh, create some some extra weapons and stuff so we did that we got a sword we got um axe we got a pick we went and checked out some a little bit of exploring action so we got a lot of stuff done today and then we made our little base and we uh just basically just a little walkthrough i'll tell you right now that if you're watching this video to this point in the video understand that this is not going to be a fast gameplay through the game uh, of dark and light we're learning the game we're enjoying it to its extent and that's what we're going to continue to do. So please hit that like button, sh uh, share and favorite the video, as well as subscribe to the channel. And we'll have some more super cool fun stuff tomorrow. Thanks for coming to hang out. Peace out.